No. Sorry, Mr. Yes, indeed. Okay. okay, we will now proceed. Um, uh, we will now proceed to second stage of electoral amendment hours of polling bill 2013. Uh, Deputy Doyle, uh, that the bill be now read a second time. Deputy Doyle, you have uh, 15 minutes. Okay. Thank you for your look. Um, and I'd like to uh, thank the uh, uh, the um, Whips Office for scheduling this piece of draft legislation or this legislation into the into the House. Uh, the bill legislation entitled the 2013 Electoral Amendment Hours of Polling Bill, which I am introducing today, is set down is to set down in statute fixed hours for voting for all elections and referenda at polling stations between the hours of 7 a.m. and 10, p 10, 10 p.m. Uh, given the fact that the desire for political reform has never been more, more in demand, and by virtue of the fact that um, we have Friday sittings, which allows uh, legislation such as the one just finished, introduced by Deputy Cowan, and this one and others, um, I think I, I decided to up avail of the opportunity to take what is an initial step in clar of clarifying some initial aspects of Irish electoral law. An act to set voting errors for Dáil Éireann elections, Dáil by elections, presidential elections, European Parliament elections, local elections, local government elections and referenda as being 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. and for that purpose to amend the Electoral Act of 1992, Presidential Act 1993, Reform Act 1994, European Parliament Elections Act 1997 and the Local Government Act of 2001 and to provide for related matters. Under the current law, the Minister for the Environment, Community and Local Government sets the hours of polling at elections and referenda within the parameters which are set down, um, i.e. that there must be for at least a minimum of 12 hours. The, the existing um, law requires that voting shall be conducted between the hours of 7 a.m. and 10.30 p.m. for that period of 12 hours. Increasing and maintaining consistent voting hours has a positive influence um, on, the, on a, a, a sizable section of the community um, of the electorate that are sometimes described as circumstantial abstainers. They have been estimated to make up two out of every three non-voters. Fifteen hours of polling, a recently established trend in most cases, would certainly have a positive impact on the level of turnout amongst this section of the population. And more particularly in commuter counties. Voter participation in, the dem in all aspects of the democratic process is important. It's important for democracy and um, I've seen on occasions when people are inadvertently or, or wrongly struck off the electoral register and they turn up to vote or they turn up well, sometimes when voting, when they've been moved from voting stations and there isn't enough time. Or the, or the errors are curtailed, that how upset they get, and rightly so. So um, it's, in my opinion, increasing and maintaining the voting errors will have a positive influence on the electorate on polling days. Under current law, as I said, the minister sets out the errors and at, at his or her discretion, subject to the electoral law. There is no current provision for set or fixed errors of polling at any Irish election of any or referenda, uh, which would not be the norm in most members, in all member states, actually, I think. Uh, the inherent, inherent problems with the electoral process in Ireland is that there are 31 different acts, over 70 statutory instruments covering election law, which makes it extremely difficult to follow. I believe that such a multiplicity of legislation is not desirable, and as such, there is a reasonable case to be made for a legislative co consolidation in this area, to clarify the rules and to make the voting process more open, understandable and accessible for all of our uh, citizens and voters. Increasing and maintaining voting hours would have the effect in particular um, of um, following on from the established trend and would certainly have a positive impact on the level of turnout amongst that section that I referred to earlier, um, and in particular in commu commuter counties. In recent years, um, 
since, particularly since 2008, a common trend has been established under under different governments, where, whereby hours of polling have been normally 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. on one single day. However, in 2012, this current government, I have to say, in the children's referendum and the Mid East by-elections in 2013, reduced the hours from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. respectively, which led to a certain amount of confusion. And as someone who was involved in the um, Mead by-election, I, I remember people being very surprised that they didn't have that extra hour. So I think, um, and it doesn't benefit. It actually, it doesn't benefit any particular party. It doesn't have any impact on on which which um, section of the electorate is seen to gain advantage. But certainly, the people who commute are the ones generally that are lose out. Um, some counties have a very very high commuter population. Um, in particular, counties Wicklow, Kildare, Mead, and Loud. All who circumvent the, um, who, who uh, are surround the main uh, capital area. For many citizens living in these areas, the most convenient time to vote is either early in the morning, on their way travelling to work in the Greater Dublin area, or indeed late in the evening, on their way home from work. When the hours of polling are cut on either end, this has a disproportionate effect, disproportionate effect, negative effect on people living in these areas. Um, thus uh, hampering their ability to vote. Voter turnout on recent um, polling days has reached lows where hours of polling were cut in the Donegal Southwest, uh, in Donegal Southwest during the children's referendum in 2012, turnout barely reached 24%. In Galway East, it reached 28%. I know there were other factors um, that may also have had been responsible for that low turnout, uh, but surprisingly, um, the voter, the, the, the result of that election was that what was considered to be something that would be would be very generally accepted by the public, the, the particular uh, margin um, was was narrower than expected, and there are other reasons for that also. For that particular re re referendum, just over one third of elig eligible voters cast their votes nationally. Um, and in, as I said in the Mid East by election in 2013, when, po when hours were reduced, the turnout didn't even reach 40%. And there was certainly a, a considerable focus on that election, so it was somewhat surprising. Um, the hours of the, as I've said, the hours of polling as they stand are at the sole discretion of the Minister for the Environment of the day. When a minister signs a polling order for an election or referendum, he or she can decide what hours she chooses within the parameters of the current uh, electoral law. Changing hours of polling from election to election or referendum, as they are currently permitted, creates confusion and possibly and probably results in lower turnouts. As such, there are inherent problems with our current system. This bill, and I'll just go through the provisions of it um, very quickly. Uh, section 1 of the bill seeks to amend Section 96.1b of the Electoral Act 1992 by replacing that, the existing text of that provision with the new text that provides that voting at a Dáil election, including a Dáil by-election, must be conducted between 7am and, and 10pm. Section 2 of the bill seeks to amend se Section 7b of the Presidential Elections Act 1993 by replacing the existing text of that provision with the new text which provides that vo voting at the presidential election must be conducted between 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. Section 3 of the bill seeks to amend Section 13b of the Referendum Act of 1994 by replacing the existing text of that provision with the new text provides that voting will be must be conducted between 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. Section 4 of the bill seeks to amend Section 10.1b of the European Parliament Elections Act 1997 by replacing the existing text of that provision with new text which provides for that voting in the European Parliament Connect election must be conducted between 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. And Section 5 of the bill seeks to amend Section 26.2 of the Local Government Act 2001 seek by replacing the existing text of that provision with new text 
that provides that voting will be at, at, at the local government elections must be conducted between 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. Section 6.1 sets out the short title of the bill and Section 6.2 provides that the collective citation of each provisions of this bill will be relevant uh, will be with the relevant coll collection of acts. So what we can see here is that it's the provisions in the bill are actually to consolidate all elections and referendum into a single um, governing piece of legislation dictating the hours of polling. I would love to have been able to say we should dictate the day, but I understand that that probably um, is not reasonable in so far as that we can't always be sure, but other countries do. Some countries even have it over two days. So I think that there is something that we could look at. Um, we, we, we seek to harmonise European law in many ways, and certainly um, in the European context, I know on a lot of, a lot of countries, weekends, Saturdays and Sundays are, are the chosen day for um, holding elections, mind you. Might be a few schools disappointed if we did that, but anyway. Um, so, um, the bill itself really it sets to remove the confusion by providing the law set out in hours as I've listed. It's at the, and it removes the minister's discretion, and instead places the hours of pol polling on a statutory footing. Um, we have parameters, but we don't have actual definite hours. As of May 2013, there are 31 acts, as I said earlier, in force concerned with electoral matters and 77 related statutory instruments. The franchise section of the Department of the Environment, Community and Local Government, who manage the elections within Ireland, have no current plans to consolidate such complex legislation. Such a move to consolidate this area would be warmly welcomed for the purposes, I think, by the general public of access transparency within our uh, electoral system and thus reviewing um, the review with the suggested reforms. Could I just say in conclusion, I'm very appreciative of the research carried out by the Library and Research uh, section providing details of the voting hours at elections across Europe. The information is based on a survey of European member states conducted through the European Centre for Parliamentary Research Documentation in September of 2013. To sum up, the bill is, is for voter facilitation. It, it, it's a, a voter facilitation measure and will provide for, as I said before and repeatedly, in statute fixed hours of polling between the hours of 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. The government has taken, this government has taken numerous steps to reform and improve our political system. I believe the, bo the bill, as I've published, will positively contribute to this agenda of political reform. The bill is both important and timely. The measures contained, it contains are needed and will make a very positive contribution to the electoral turnout and participation, cut down on confusion and keep us in line with polling mechanisms across Europe. Um, I look forward to hearing uh, views from uh, other members of the House and positive discussions with the proposals and amendments contained in the Bill. Uh, could I finally thank members of my own staff, I'm not sure whether that's um, allowed, but and Graeme and Brian, they know who they are, for all their help in, in, in drafting this legislation also, and I commend the bill to the House. Thank you.